The Galapagos are a collection of volcanic islands located 600 miles off the west coast of South America. Collectively, the islands which are considered a province of Ecuador are referred to as an archipelago and are best known as the location in which Charles Darwin established his theory of evolution and natural selection while journeying on a vessel known as the Beagle. Today, the Galapagos attract naturalists and adventurers from around the world who are eager to see the variety of plants and animals that can be found nowhere else on the globe. Named after one of their most famous inhabitants, the word Galapagos is an old Spanish word meaning saddle, which was a nickname given to the giant land tortoise in reference to its curved shell. Another renowned resident is the frigate bird. The male of the species is most easily recognized by the red color pouch that it inflates during mating season to attract a female. It's been said that the man with the largest pouch always fares the best with the ladies. However, blatant boasting is not without its risks, as a jealous rival can easily reach over and poke a hole in his pouch with their beak. The pouch will not be able to inflate for the remainder of the season, leading to a year of cold, lonely nights. Another fly seabird on the scene is the blue-footed booby, obviously identified for their outrageous electric blue feet. The name booby was given to them by the Spanish for their clumsy nature on land, but for what it lacks in coordination, the booby makes up for in loyalty, as it will stay with the same mate for its entire life cycle. A booby's sex can be identified by the fact that the females have larger pupils, more vibrant feet, and are usually just bigger overall. One other unorthodox trait of this flying creature is that both the male and female will take turns sitting on the eggs until the baby is born. One creature that Darwin found rather disgusting is the endemic marine iguana, which he referred to collectively as imps of darkness. The marine iguana is one of the few lizards that is able to forage in the sea. Its long claw is enabled to scale in and out of the rough coastal waters where it can satisfy its taste for sweet algae. After spending hours in the water, they will expel excess salt through their highly attuned set of nasal glands, and their dark skin will work as a solar panel to absorb heat to keep them warm and active on their underwater adventures. Now, Among the arid cactus-covered lava fields, you will find the larger land-bound cousin, the Galapagos land iguana. Aside from their shorter claws and tails, they are also recognized by their spiny crests on their back and often vibrant yellow skin. The Galapagos land iguana survives primarily off the water they find inside of cactus bears. All the animals on the island live in a respectful tolerance of each other. Because there are no natural predators, animals such as sea lions take little notice of curious cameras or passerbyers. And due to lack of scavengers, many corpses will remain in plain sight until they are claimed by time. The surreal landscape of the Galapagos enabled it to represent Mars in the science fiction classic Total Recall, starring Arnold Schwarzenegger. In 1959, the government of Ecuador, in cooperation with UNESCO, declared 97% of the Galapagos a national park. And in 1986, the surrounding 48,000 square miles of ocean became a national marine reserve. All these efforts have enabled its one-of-a-kind wildlife to live in quiet, beautiful, peaceful harmony. This is Baron Ambrosia for Eye Outside the Bronx.